everyone, and welcome back to Controller Rollers. My name is Nowacking, and you are watching a pacifist playthrough of Undertale. Guys, I had to take a break. Uh, I think it was- it's been a, a day since I played. It's been one day. <laughs> hi, hi, my name is Jesse. Hi, Jesse. It's been- it's been one day since I played Undertale. I discovered what sunlight is like. Uh, I came back to the menu here, and Sans is not- here, he, he has a little sign that says out to lunch, and <laughs> I, th this is just what I came back to find, and this is, this is a wonderful thing. Alphys doesn't look too happy to be on the bottom there, but, but she's happy if she's under Undyne. Ha! Ha! Let's play. Okay, so, I'm remembering where we are now, oh my god. Forgot this creepy shit. I love it, but, like, oh my god. Oh my god. Have you guys seen Stranger Things? I know people are dumb and read the comments. Don't read the comments, because people probably- Don't spoil things for Stranger Things. Don't be that dick, or I'll be mad at you. But, um, I fucking love Stranger Things. I need to- I need to rewatch it. Okay, Undersheets. I got that one. Undersheets. Uh, I'm gonna have to fight this person. Eh, let's just do it. <laughs> it's probably gonna... Yeah. It's probably gonna take a little bit. Sweet bread. Lemon bread. I think that's the name of this guy. And that's not act. Don't act. These are monsters. So, what? Wait. Why does the locket say that? The locket's like that. I don't know. Is the locket telling me to use the stick because it's pointing this way? <laughs> Let's find out. Great job! Thanks, locket, you piece of shit! <laughs> ah! Oh, 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 I hate this. That was awful, what the fuck? <laughs> what the fuck was that? How are you supposed to... Oh my god, that wasn't even... Oh my god. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. And I wasted my one turn throwing a goddamn stick because my stupid locket told me to. You know what? Fuck it. Let me... What? Info. Heart locket. Blah, blah, blah. It says best friends forever. That's it! That's it! It doesn't say that it lies! You didn't warn me about this lying ass locket. Little shit. Yeah, fuck you. Do I, should I use the locket? Let's find out. I equipped the locket. Just awful. Just a terrible... Ah, okay, well how much money do I have? Because if I can just use items, maybe I just should, because this is- this is terrible. I didn't have this much trouble last time, did I? Maybe I did. Stop acting. Wait, yes, act is good. Fight is bad. Um, shit. I don't know what to do. I'll hum. Okay, that did something. Please don't give me the teeth. Oh, fuck! I didn't even wait. I just ran into the teeth. Just fuck me up. This is gonna be ridiculous. This is gonna be one of those things that um, I just have to keep guessing at. I wish I could just look up how it's won so I could just get past this fucker, but I've barely played it. So that wouldn't be fair to you guys. I have to die a million times before you figure it out. Fuck you. Stupid lemon bread piece of shit. I want lemon bread now. Hum seemed to do something. Okay, stupid teeth. Motherfucker. Fuck you, you stupid, stupid bitch. Okay, don't call, because that doesn't do anything. <laughs> that is so hard. There has to be another way to do that. Like,. You're just supposed to know where the teeth are gonna go? Is there a pattern you need to memorize? Just awful. <laughs> I hate 
I hate this one. You know what? Hold on, guys. One second. I'll be right back. Well, I looked it up, and it, the only thing it accomplished was hurting my ego because they did it super fast and super easy, and they only got hurt once. And I'm just a sad, sad little shit. But I didn't know that it's like... I know it's unhug, hum, and flex. But you can do it in any order. So I will do that. Let's see. I can do it. Oh. I guess seeing them do did it filled me with determination. No, it, uh, it made me realize I should just go for it. And, um... You know. I can't see my mouse, which frightens me. Well, that's a problem for future Jesse. Okay. Yeah, I think I was too hesitant about it before. It's only three, so I can just survive this. Please, God. Fuck! <laughs> uh, I'm not gonna blame it on Mike, but he texted me. Great. Thanks, Mike. He's asking me if I want to go to a breakfast place for breakfast, and norm and my gut response normally is, fuck no, are you crazy? Because I have a fainting condition and I can't really- my whole life I couldn't eat breakfast things for breakfast, you know, I had, uh, like, you know, pancakes or syrupy stuff like that, I, I couldn't have it. And, um... Uh... Now, I've, uh, I... I've talked all about this on, um... <laughs> he's telling me the breakfast place is near Jerry's work, so he's like, tell Jerry this thing, and I'm like, I'm playing Undertale! <laughs> um... But, uh... I'm sorry, I've talked about it on Twitter, about my, uh, my fainting thing. Sorry, one second, guys. I got to, um... I'll be right back, okay? Hello, and welcome back to Controller Rollers. Um, okay, so... <laughs> sorry about that. Um, Mike was telling me to tell Jerry the thing, and it was time-sensitive, so I just ran out. And I couldn't explain it to you, because when two people are talking to me at the same time, my brain melts, and I can't do shit. I'm pretty sure I hugged, uh, unhugged, right? Uh -huh. Come on, come on. Nice, bitches! What up? Talk about my fate condition in a second. Oh my god. 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 Yeah! Yeah! Yes! Yes! I did so good not fucking up before that terrible teeth shit happened. <laughs> that I had enough health to get the shit beaten out of me and still survive with 3 HP. Fantastic. Woo! Good job, Jesse. Good job not fucking up for once. Oh my god. I really want lemon bread now. Uh, sorry about that. So, I've talked a bit on Twitter about uh, my fainting condition. I don't know if I've talked about it on YouTube. But, um... Basically, I just, like... I'm just super faint. Uh, usually, unless I have to eat food, and sometimes it's triggered by pain, where if I just, like, you know, hit my elbow against something, I'll just, like, fucking lose my vision. Um, and doctors could not figure out what was up with me for, uh, ever. And then, uh, uh, one kid's actually, Mike, he did some research, and he was like, you know, it might be your heart. 
it might not be, but it wouldn't hurt to get it checked out. So I was like, okay. So I went to the doctor and, uh, you know, got a bunch of tests done. I ran, I got shit like hooked up to me like 11 from Stranger Things, topical. <laughs> and uh, ran on a treadmill, did tilt table test, blah, blah, blah. And they figured out that it's kind of something to do with my blood pressure. So I've been taking these pills and now I can eat breakfast things for breakfast. So now it's an option for me. So that's cool. DT extraction machine. Blah, blah, blah. Why did I not see machine? It's early in the morning. Uh, DT extraction machine. Status inactive. Determination extraction? Because she was just saying how she takes determination and injects it into things. Okay. Well, why did- Alfie's, why did you make it look like a skull? That's like... That's terrifying. Well, bye. I gotta remember to keep saving, otherwise I will get fucked over. Oh, there's fans in here. Maybe this is where the- Cause, cause there was a something back there that said the key was, um, the hint was just cold or something like that. So maybe it's, uh, maybe it's Maybelline. Entry number 19. Your family keep calling me to ask when everyone is coming home. What am I supposed to say? I don't even answer the phone anymore. That's so sad. It's a refrigerator. It's empty. Please, nothing pop up at me. It's a refrigerator. It seems to contain samples of some kind. The refrigerator over there is moving. I'm not gonna touch it. Entry number 20. Ashgore left me five messages today. Or about everyone being angry. One about this cute teacup he found that looks like me. <laughs> Thanks, Ashgore. <laughs> Bye, moving refrigerator. Entry number 21. I spend all my time at the garbage dump now. It's my element. Oh, that's so sad. It's a refrigerator. It seems to contain samples of some kind. It's a refrigerator. It's empty. <sighs> oh! Oh, it tricked me! It's so cold. Oh, no! It tricked me. I thought the moving refrigerator was gonna... I had a feeling. I had a feeling that the moving thing... It was gonna be like that thing where we approached the, um, the moving thing in the shower really fast. The, like, wobbly dick that was, like, getting faster and faster and as we got closer to it. And then nothing was there. I thought that was gonna be the refrigerator. So that's why I was going back to do it. And then this shit happened. Okay. I can't move. Okay, good. <laughs> Alright, um... So this is made up of one of those birds. Oh my god, the art in this game is fantastic because like... You know, if you look really carefully, it's that bird and the, the mouth. You see those two faces? The mouths of the two faces are actually the eyes of the bird. And it's closing and opening. It's blinking really sad. Oh my god. This is really sad. Oh my, this is so sad. <laughs> Snow moon. What the fuck? Um, I don't want to heckle, but all right. You said something like, You look horrible! Why are you even alive? What? You didn't say that? Snowy. Oh my god. What? Jesus Christ. I mean... Nothing I'm doing is doing anything. Okay. Maybe I just keep having... I, I have to keep doing it.
Oh. Oh my. Okay, that's the key that's cold. Jesus. That was so sad, like, Jesus Christ. <laughs> that was the saddest fucking thing. I'm happy for it, because she- Oh my god, she was- I'm gonna cry, guys. That was- she was so sad. She was so sad and none of her attacks were doing anything. She wasn't even trying. She just like gave up on life. That's so terrible. Alright, moving refrigerator. It's a refrigerator. It's empty? Okay, that's fucking creepy. It's a refrigerator. It's empty. Okay, they managed to do the creepiest fucking shit! <laughs> I- I- you heard me! I had a million different- different theories for what could possibly happen when you open the fridge. And I didn't even think of that creepy shit! Like, it just keeps moving and it says it's empty? I never- I never- I never want to even thought of that! No, we're getting the fuck out of here! Uh-uh! Oh my god. There's a note on the ground. Can't make it all out. Curtain. That's all you could read. Okay. Jesus Christ. Oh. Whoa. I don't like it. 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 I'm gonna save. Just to be sure. You know, you can never save too many times. But the one exception to that rule is if you save over something that you want to redo. A different way, you know. So we went... That way. We went to the left. And curtain must be in here. So I got that key. Uh, we went that way. We went this way. Yellow's already been turned on. We might have all the keys already put in their shit. But, um... Yeah. Hmm. This is where the pupper was. Pup, pupper. I miss my pup. Yellow lab. She's uh, at my parents' place. Yeah, I think we went down here. I think. Oh. There we go. Gold. Okay. Sweet. All right. Well, let's see. And I think, I think we're good to just uh, try to go to that elevator. Nice. Oh, I'm gonna save here. Uh, there we go. Is it not actually an elevator? None of these screens are lighting up. It seems to be turned off. Can I use this as an elevator? It seems like another elevator has lost its power. Hmm. Everything is creepy. Everything is so fucking creepy. It seems like this controls the elevator's power. Turn it on. Uh, OK. 
Okay. Oh no. No, 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 no. Oh my god. Oh my god, oh my god! Guys, guys, I can't- I can't move! Hey, stop. Hey, stop! <laughs> oh my god, it's Elfies! I got you guys some food, okay? Oh, okay, we'll leave now. We won't devour the human. <laughs> Sorry about that. They get kinda sassy when they don't get fed on time. Um, anyway, the power went out and I've been trying to turn it back on. But it seems like you were one step ahead of me. This was probably just a big inconvenience for you. But, but I appreciate that you, you came here to back me up. As I said, I, I was afraid I, I might not come back. But that's not because of these guys or anything. I, I was just worried I, I would be too afraid. And to tell the truth, that I might run away or do something. Cowardly. Oh. Oh no! It is as dark as I thought it was gonna go. Oh no! Uh, I... I suppose I owe you an explanation. As you probably know, Asgore asked me to study the nature of souls. During my research, I isolated a power I called determination. I injected it into dying monsters so their souls would last after death. But the experiment failed. You see, unlike humans, monsters' bodies don't have enough physical matter to take those concentrations of determination. Their bodies start to melt and lost what physicality they had. Oh no, that would explain the creatures. Pretty soon, all of the test subjects had melted together into those. Seeing them like this, I knew... I couldn't tell their families about it. I couldn't tell anyone about it. No matter how much everyone was asking me. And I was too afraid to do any more work. Knowing... Everything I'd done so far had been such a horrific failure. But now... Now... I've changed my mind about all this. I'm going to tell everyone what I've done. It's going to be hard, being honest, believing in myself. I'm sure there will be times where I'll struggle. I'm sure there will be times where I screw up again. But knowing deep down that I have friends to fall back on, I know it'll be a lot easier to stand on my own. Thank you. Come on, guys. It's time for everyone to go home. Oh shit. Wow. Okay. Oh god. Entry number eight. I've chosen a candidate. I haven't told Asgore yet because I want to surprise him with it. In the center of his garden, there's something special. The first golden flower that grew before all the others. The flower from the outside world. It appeared just before the queen left. I wonder... What happens when something without a soul gains the will to live? That's fucking... That's fucking flowy. Oh my god. Oh my god, it's flowy. Okay. Okay. Oh, hold on. Entry number 18. The flower's gone?! The flower's gone! <laughs> oh no. Oh my god. Ring. It's a voice you have never heard before. I don't like how slow this text is going, that frightens me. Dora, are you there? It's been a long time, hasn't it? But you've done well. Thanks to you, everything has fallen into place. Dora. See you soon. Ah! Ah! Oh god. Oh god. I can't move. Where am I going? What's happening? Oh no. 
Hey. The door is jammed shut in the vines. Are we in Asgore's place? Shit. What the fuck? I don't like this. I don't like this. I don't know what's happening. I... Uh, okay, I guess it wants me to fight Asgore now? Um... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So I got... I got four item. Uh, I mean, uh, one less item than I can carry. So is it worth it? Okay, let's um... Let's try and think about what's happening here. If we take all the information we've been given... So Alfie's found a flower. And the flower appeared right before Toriel left. Or right after, I forget what he said. But if it was around that time, what happened around that time? The Their son took the human up to the human world. And um, then he, they think they both died. One of them was dying, and then the other one was like, the humans, like, were, like, attacking him. And then he died eventually when he came back down. So maybe he... He died. No. I was gonna say it would be, like... Did they put him inside the flower? But that's not. That's flowy. So that doesn't work. Ass. Ass real. He is the son. And we don't know the human's name. That was like brothers with him, basically. I wish I had like a conspiracy board where I could like link up yarns and shit. Be like, I guess I can- Yo, you don't understand Flowey is the evil and Alfie's made him and oh my god. Okay, so. Alright, Alfie's put a, a soul into a flower. So maybe that's why Flowey's such an asshole. <laughs> That's all I got. All right. Um, well, guys, I will... Um, I guess I'll see you next time where we'll fight Asgore. All right. Bye-bye. Hey, sorry, guys. I um, I had to go because I was like, I'll just go and then um, just save and then I'll come back. But there hasn't been a save point since, so I was like, fuck, I'll just record this and get to the next save point. I think this is where we meet Sans. Sans? Sans! <laughs> well, he's not here. I guess he's out to lunch, like his little sign said. Okay. I'd really like a save point right now. Throne room. Please, save point. Anywhere? Anywhere would be great. I need to leave! <laughs> I, need, I, need, I need to go somewhere! Oh, great, the coffins! Yeah, yeah, Dora. Uh-huh. Goddamn! Yeah! <laughs> Mike texted me, was like, Get ready! I'll be there in like 10 minutes. And I'm like, okay, I'm still playing Undertale. <laughs> Alright, slowly walking in here. Asgore. Yes, yes, yes. He's like, oh, I'm just the nicest guy ever. I'm tending the garden. Dum de dum. <laughs> oh, is someone there? Just a moment. I have almost finished watering these flowers. Looks like he's jerking off. Oh my god. He's just giving it a shake. He's peeing. Water the flowers. Howdy. I'm sorry I showed you my penis. Oh no, you're you're an eight-year-old kid. Time to throw you in the dungeon, Asgore! I so badly want to say, could you please forget everything that happened here and just leave? 
Would you like some tea? But you know how it is. Nice day today, huh? Birds are singing, flowers are blooming. Jesse has to leave, so I'm going to sing a fucking monologue. <laughs> We've already heard this monologue, so it's not like um anything has really been lost, but yeah. Yep. When you're ready, come into the next room. Is there a save point there? Because I would love a save point. It's a throne. Please. Oh. It's another throne covered by a white sheet. Oh, there used to be two thrones, you know, king and queen, but, um... Uh, please, I just want to save. God damn it, I just want to save! Oh, tense. Just think of it like... A visit to the dentist. <laughs> I will, thanks. Thank you. Are you ready? If you are not, I understand. I am not ready either. Don't get so deep on me right now, bro. Okay. Wait. Alright, the end. Okay. Finally, guys. Okay. I was saying something important. Maybe it wasn't important, but- Oh, right here. I wasn't sure if he had that dialogue last time or not, but, um, yeah, they used to have two- Two thrones, and then Toriel left. But why do you keep the fucking chair in there? Why do you keep this chair? Why don't you just, you know, put it in storage or somewhere where it won't be a constant reminder that your fucking wife left you? Huh? Huh? Why? Why Why don't you just put it somewhere else? Put it somewhere where the king isn't seen it every goddamn day. That's so sad. Alright guys, I gotta go, and I will see you guys next time on Controller Rollers. I remembered. Mike reminded me that I haven't been saying next time. Um, I've just been making fart noises at the end. But, um, yeah, um, I will see you guys next time, bye-bye. Hello, and welcome back to Controller Rollers. My name is Noacking, and you are watching a pacifist playthrough of Undertale! Guys, I think this is it. Like, I'm, I'm right in front of Asgore's, uh, you know, fucking... Uh, where we fight him and shit. I think this is it. I think. Unless, you know, this pacifist playthrough, like, pulls another fucking rabbit out of its ass and and then and, and I play an entirely different level that I didn't get to have in the, uh, the neutral playthrough like the, like the lab was. The secret lab. Secret lab. Um... One thing before we start, I, I looked at my uh, Steam inventory and it appears I have some trophies or achievements. I don't know. I don't really go on Steam, so I don't know what these things are. But I got Undyne. I just, I have her now. 